Well, I absolutely hate singing. I'm terrified of singing. I'm a really bad singer. There's a lot of people who feel they haven't got the expertise in music and so feel that perhaps they haven't got the skill to pass it on to the children. If somebody says they can't sing, I never believe them. <laughs> because I know that they can. Helen led the staff in a workshop to build their confidence and skills. But all the songs and exercises are things you can use yourself in the classroom. So it's going to be a sort of whistle-stop tour of warm-ups, vocal techniques and some ideas for singing. We're going to start with um, some ideas for just getting your selves more comfortable or more confident with your own voices but these are the sorts of activities that you might use with the children it's easy to get children actually exploring their voices and singing in tune if you do lots of exercises with them in a fun way so they're games relax our shoulders first of all because this is where um, you're going to let the air in to support your singing can you just give your heads a very gentle tilt down and up as well just start to loosen up your face muscles. I mean, you think about doing warm-up for PE lessons and things like that, but I think most people doing music would just sort of go straight into doing whatever they were doing without thinking about that sort of warming up by, you know, the muscles in your face and things and relaxing. Mm. You did feel ready to sing. I think the kids would... That would be something they'd have to get used to doing, because mm. I think at first they'd think you were completely mad, mm. get them to do these different facial expressions and everything, but I think when they got used mm. to it, they wouldn't really think that much of it. So it's really stretching the root of your tongue and making it move and relax. Could you put your hands here, with your thumbs that way? And first of all, I just want you to go... Yes, some of you might be breathing from up here, like that, up here. But what I want you to do is I want you to try and get it down to here. Try that with this sound. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. Fantastic. Again. Ho! Oh. And the, the quickest way to warm up your voice gently without doing any damage, and this applies to children as well, is to just do some gentle humming. <laughs> to open up your voice, I want you to see if you can do a yawn from the top. So. With the children, it really helps <coughs> if they can visualise what they're doing. And um, so if you do the movement as well, you'll find yourself improving the sound. Oh! Fantastic. Now, that's the potential of your voice, as high and as low as that. Children have that potential, but sometimes they don't know how to get there. What I'd like you to do now is sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star like a Wicked Witch. Are we going to sound like Wicked Witches? <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, my dear. Twinkle, twinkle. Buzzing. Yeah. Okay, same song, but I'd like you to sound like a very sweet princess from a fairy story. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, lovely. Yes, it's 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 more down here. It's not up here, is it? Some of you, if if it was higher, some of you might feel it up here. Let's try it a little bit higher. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Most of it, that's our head voice, and, and some children don't find that straight away. They, they use a sort of speaking <coughs> voice when they sing. One, two, three, four, five. Five. <laughs> I'll do that again. One of the things she said to us was, you know, I'm not a professional singer. Mm. You know, this is, I sing for enjoyment and, you know, and things like that. And uh, I think that's a really important thing to remember, is that you haven't got to be a professional musician to be able to teach music and enjoy music. You know, you just gotta have be confident enough just to have a go. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, five. 
they weren't conscious of the fact that they were trying to sing in parts because they had the, they had the numbers to help them. That works for a lot of children and a lot of adults to, to use some other kind of stimulus so that the focus is taken away from the singing, in fact. pitch development and starting with um, very simple tunes with very simple pitch patterns so that children really become confident in, in getting the pitches accurately but only having to work on a few pitches at a time. This is the Japanese frog song. <laughs> Didn't know you were going to sing in Japanese, did you? We'll start on this note. Keiru no utaka And then it moves up by step and back by step. Gero, gero, gero. Often I see teachers in the classroom asking the children to sing higher and they mean louder. So I wanted to make absolutely sure that the teachers understood what we're talking about when we talk about pitch. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. So it's very similar to what we were doing counting up and down the numbers. But now this time it's in a, a song form and you can see the music for it as well. So I'd like you, on this side, to be the frogs. Gua, 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 gua. And you're going to stay on one note. Gua, 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 gua. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. The pitch activities that I did, I hope, will clarify their understanding of pitch, pitch. if they were a little bit hazy about really. it. it That's why I showed the little graphic score the of the lower. frog tune, but, um, we've so that, that they could see note. where the tune was moving up higher in pitch and lower in pitch, and relate that to what we were talking about. So three pitches, high, low and in the middle. Off we go. Hi, no, chica, no, chica, no, chica, no. And you know the three pitches, high, low, and chica. You can read any new pattern. Low, low, chica, low, chica, low. High, high, low, chica, low, low, low. Chica, 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 high. Hooray! <laughs> Fantastic. Can you see how it's reinforcing that, that concept of pitch? because you're having to read it very quickly and instantly and, and, and change your voice from high to low to in between. And actually those three notes could be anywhere. It could be much higher or much lower. It doesn't matter which three pitches they are, but those come from the um, playground game. It was a clapping playground game. Some of it was more difficult than we expected, mm. wasn't it? Oh, yes, doing actions and singing mm. as well. So it made us feel like the children sometimes. <laughs> we moved on to actual songs, very, very simple songs that they could remember without having to read any words, um, that were exploring different sounds because we were using different languages as well, um, that have very simple repeating patterns in them so they could succeed very quickly at learning them and memorising them and then doing something else with them and extending so them. It's a hauling song for hauling up the sails, but we will do some other jobs on this boat. <laughs> okay? I heard, I heard an old man say, I heard, I heard an old man say, John Kanaka Naka Tulae. John Kanaka Naka Tulae. Today, today. Holiday. Today, today's a holiday.
on the boards on the ship. To lie, to lie, John Kanaka Naka, 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 to lie, to lie, John Kanaka Naka, to lie. There's a stage in between singing in unison and singing around, which is to actually have the children working in groups, but not singing the song from the beginning to the end, singing a part of it and <coughs> looping it like we did with, with the John Kanaka. So you're going to sing, <coughs> Nanuma Waya, Nanuma, and can you put the claps in? Nanuma Waya, Nanuma. In the right rhythm. Nanuma 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 I've never walked around and sung. You were very aware of your voice, but other people's as well, and the, the harmonies as you sort of pass them. Now, can you walk to the beat? Nanuma Waya, Nanuma. Nanuma Waya, Nanuma. They're singing at the end, um, when we were singing in parts and they were in harmony, uh, was really strong. I thought that you know the actual tone that they produce producing was very very beautiful. I was worried about having to sing perhaps on my own um, or even in a very small group. I wouldn't have enjoyed that at all. Um, but in fact, I think because she was so good, um, I just forgot about it really. Um, all my fears. Obviously, I knew we were singing, but I didn't think we were actually going to be going into sort of part singing and things like that. With you know actual sort of two and three part harmony I thought that was amazing and actually how simple it seemed to be definitely things in there I'm going to be trying out in the class because there's so many good ideas have come from this it'd be a shame to not use them you can find some of the songs chants and exercises online at the teachers TV website and try them for yourself in program two we go into the classroom to see how they work in practice John, can I, 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 can I